I'm a hot topic, yeah. Watch out, cause I just might take your bitch to hot topic, yeah. Yo, what's up? I'm back. Today we're bringing you another Cole Bennett tutorial, this famous 3D text, but in Sony Vegas, so there might be little differences. Few things to say before we start. Uh, one, you don't want to be editing anything when you do this, um, because your Vegas is either, is either going to crash a lot, or at least crash once. If not, then you're a lucky duck. Uh, so save your, save your edit, save whatever you're editing, exit out, make a new Vegas or so and then we'll later we'll render it out and then put it in your video that's what you should do second of all you need the bcc plugins like i said uh, i can't really tell you how to get bcc plugins but there's a uh, you know okay and third what was i gonna say i don't know but let's get right into it all right so his famous 3d text Sometimes it rotates, sometimes it knots. Let's do it in Vegas. Um, the reason, like I said, that you want to edit it, um, you want to do it in a different Vegas, as in like a new project, than your edit, is because it really takes a whole lot of, out of your computer. Um, especially 3D text in Vegas, it takes a whole lot. Um, I don't have a bad computer, I have a decent computer. I have a 1060, three gigabyte, and an i7. And even like making this, this tutorial, it crashed twice. So just so you know, expect to crash. Um, so just keep on saving like after everything you do to it. So here's how we're gonna start. Uh, go to media generators. You're gonna wanna scroll down and you can pick anything. You can have a picture here, you can have a video here. Um, I just recommend legacy text cause it's, it'll take less off your computer, trust me. Legacy text, right? All right, video effects, and then you're gonna to wanna to scroll down. You don't wanna search for it. You don't wanna search for it because that's how my Vegas crashed. You're gonna scroll down and find it. You're gonna go BCC, extruded text, and then you can click on it and you're gonna hope it works. All right, you're gonna click on it, right? You're gonna drag it onto to your little legacy box, right? You don't wanna change your text yet on the legacy box because it won't matter. Okay, so I know you can't see it, but a screen popped up on my other monitor, okay. So this screen popped up, right? It took a while too. And now we're already getting to the 3D. Okay. So first things first is you wanna put your text. So to put your text, you wanna click this button here. Launch text window. And then this screen will pop up. I'll put stash to, I can't spell, tutorials, right? Um, you can change all this stuff. Uh, this you won't need to mess with it. So if I highlight this, say if you have a paragraph, um, you know, you know what this does, right? Uh, change it. I'm gonna change the font to something like, that won't like destroy my computer. No, not that. Give me something decent. Okay, but yeah, that's how you change a font. Like you guys didn't know. All right, yeah, whatever. All right, so here's the font. I'm gonna exit out, or no, before you exit out, sorry, click apply. Click apply, boom, there's my font. Um, it's too big. Let me change the size of that. Let me go 96, apply. Even then it's too, still too big, but you guys do it. All right, so you, you can already see here, it's 3d it's the 3d you kind of want so let's go through all these effects and what it, what they do um, and let's try to get it as close to he, what he does so use built-in light you want to use built-in light um, here here let's see what preset preset if you click it you have these preset here gray text curled orange default text wrap what these do is you click it it does what it explains. It makes your text orange and it curls it. Um, gray text with a ripple has a ripple and it's gray text. I don't want to click it because I don't want my Vegas crash. You can do. You can try it. See if you like it. All right. Click this render button. Um, this polygon count. It's kind of like. How do I how do I explain this? Let's go draft mode. It's kind of like the edges here. 
and how like the I don't know how to explain it, the sharpness so you see how this like in been boast it has to deal with that um, so if we change that a little bit like that and we turn this around which I'll explain later anyways uh, that's all you need to know it has, it has to do with the effects like back here right and the emboss effect so if we go best all right cool you don't really need to deal with that to make it look like him so use built-in light this is what you need to deal with so if I uncheck this be, you, have to, you have to like think of these as like lights like lights in a movie set right so this is my light right here right if I move this to over here the light oh put some cash the light will be coming from here and then you'll get shadows over here right because that's that's how it is so the light comes here and then you get shadows but if I move it directly in front oh please don't crash wait one second so if I move wait the light like say over here come on you can do it anyways you get it see it's not work it's not even working like this is such a hassle to do anywho so you get the idea you use built-in light too then you have a second light so you have two lighting so if I have a light one coming down here and then second light if it turns on come on there we go second light it'll pop up right here well that's weird And I have like three lights. Why do I have three lights? Okay, this is a nothing. All right. So you have one light coming down here. So this is light up. And one light coming down here. So this is lit up. So it's perfectly lit right now. Um, and then that's basically your lighting, if you want. It, okay. Now, extrusion extrusion style. These are your presets that come with BCC. Like I said, they're like kind of like the presets. They come with like you know tiles. It'll look tile if you click wood dark. It'll look like it's wood. Um, it's just kind of like the texture, the texture of the text. Let's go down. Extrusion, extrusion depth. That's how deep it is. So if I make this, like, if I you know bring this out here, you already see it. You see how deep it is. It looks kind of like, you know, Microsoft Word 3D or something. Um, you can play with that and mess with that. We'll keep it at a low about like right, right there um, Ambient intensity. Oh see look that's a brightness ambient intensity is a brightness. Sorry if I'm uh, You know don't know all the ins and outs of this program. You usually don't use it because you know it sucks. All right, so material count You have two front back bevel one side, right? So What this means is yeah, okay, not two. Okay. You have front back bevel one side, right? So, um, what this means is like you have the front of the text, the back of the text, the side of the text, and the bevel, which is the little indentation here. They, they could be different materials, or they could be two materials, right? Since you have them two. I'm going to click one, same on all sides, just because it's easier on, on your computer. So, since it's one on, same on, on, on all sides, the front material will be the same as the side material, bevel material, and back material. If you want all four to be a different material, like you say, like you want the front to have to look like tile, and then you want the back to look like wood, click all four, and then you can change all of them, or click you know two or three. I'm gonna click one on on same sides just to save this tutorial. All right, one on same on all sides, right? Click this down arrow. Hope for this. Okay, click this down arrow. Material preset. Um, the color shiny metal. I can make it look like a stone. I can make it look like a wood. Not gonna do any of that, but you can if you want. The front texture file, these are your textures, you know, a bunch of metallic and stuff, mention stones, fossil green, that's whatever. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the color. So I'm gonna change this to red and that to happen. So just ambient, okay. That goes to red, change this to red, and then that looks deep right here. Let's change that to uh, white. Something I would have made a paint in like 2013. All right, and the highlight will keep it black to stay the same. Opacity is the opacity you guys should know. Okay, so we have our 3D text kind of. It's still 
doesn't look pretty but I, we can still go through all of the effects so we have a front material right um, transformation so what transformations are is basically the movement of this we can turn it to the side you can bring it forward you can um, twist it up and down and whatever right um, I would say if you're just gonna move it up and forward like Colt Bennett does in a lot of his things he just moves up and forward do it in pan and crop and just get out of this one but sometimes you want to show it's 3d you know you want to show the 3d so to do that this is the only way you can like show it's 3d because I've, I've tried it with um just just 3d masking or you know 3d tilting the layer it didn't work you have to do it in the effect so if i go orientation change this see we can have we can have our text do that our video do that while zooming in and that, that'll be a good actually intro um or we can have it do this but it looks 3d see you have to do it in the program though or you know in the effect because it won't show up what i'm saying is like if you do it like this and you go click this uh track if you go like compositing mode hold on compositing mode 3d source alpha, source alpha and then track motion if you do the same thing it won't it won't render as 3d so see look it's 2d it's 2d it just kind of gives it like a fake 3d effect and we don't want that we want actual 3d objects so change that back to source alpha there you go change it uh, go back into the thing the effect and then so uh, what Cole Bennett does is pretty much zooms in just a tiny tiny bit um, sometimes I think he after, like here I'll explain to you when this loads sometimes I think it has it to the side so it shows it's 3d and he zooms in um, but he just keeps it clean and simple he just keeps his little zoom in and that's what I recommend doing because just because it's clean and simple doesn't look all you know like you're a kid that found some presets you know on YouTube all right we'll keep this about five seconds again um, if you're wondering why I changed the text is because I had to start this tutorial all over, all over again. But anyways, I'm just gonna mix and match both of them. All right, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna have this rotate this way. No, I'm gonna have this, I'm gonna rotate that way. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna have this slightly off tilt and then I'm gonna zoom it forward and then have it come back to normal. So like regular positioning. Because I think that looks decent. So it kind of looks like it's flying in from somewhere. All right. So then to move it forward and backward, you want to mess with any of this stuff. You want it to mess. You want to mess with, where's master? Master scale. You want to mess with master scale. So um, let's make some keyframes. So I move these two, make some keyframes. Keyframe that, keyframe that. And master scale, keyframe that. All right. Turn this down a little bit. Okay, so we'll start from the bottom. That's where the keyframe are from the beginning. Okay. Am I recording? Hold on. Yeah, okay. Um, all right, so we're gonna go to the end of this. That one frame, so I can see the text. We're gonna want it to be zoomed in, like right there. And then we'll change this back to zero, change this back to zero. So right now what we have, do that so my computer doesn't die. Um, let's hope it works like this. And see, we have the 3D text moving forward like Cole Bennett does with a little shift tilt showing that it's 3D. Um, and that's basically for the tutorial, the tutorial, unless you wanna have cool effects on it. So to have cool effects on it, you're gonna wanna render this out, right? You're gonna to want to render this out as a video. You'll have black bars. Once you have black bars, you're gonna put this over your edit and you're gonna Chrome key out the black bars. So you're gonna type in, because I don't really wanna render it because it's gonna take a long time. So I'm just gonna explain it to you. So let's say you rendered this video, right? You rendered this 3D text coming at you. You're gonna 
put this new rendered video into your edit, right? You're gonna chroma key, you're gonna type chroma key here, and then you're gonna drag it over. It's not gonna work, but trust me, it'll work. Then you wanna click, click color, and then click change it to black. And then that should have your text on it. And then keep it um, moving forward a little bit, which I would recommend. Um, and then you can add your overlays and underlays to it, which he does a lot. Uh, I have a pack with a bunch of overlays and underlays like he does. If you want to buy it, um, I might be doing a giveaway um, for the pack. Just maybe like, I don't know. Like, yeah, I'll just give away my packs, one of these videos. Um, and just so you know. But if you want all my editing stuff, watch. I have a lot of stuff that Cole Bennett uses. I have a lot of stuff other people use, like some Vaporwave stuff, some whatever. Um, you can check out my cell phone. It's in the description. Uh, that's it for the video. If I miss something, I'm sorry. I'll make a part two of, to it. It's just I kind of rush this tutorial. Um, uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. It really gives me motivation to make more videos. Um, you guys give me motivation to make more Cole Bennett videos. So I'm just giving that, you know. And that's pretty much it. If you want to watch my other tutorials, there should be a link on the screen to watch my playlist. Um, you'll learn how to edit, you'll learn how to make music videos just in Sony Vegas, you know, be the next time rapper. Anywho, alright, uh, catch you later, peace out, later.